Hi, I'm Chef Mike, and this is Urban Kitchen on Gay Chicago TV. Today we're making a delicious salmon dish with a smoky green tea rub on top of braised leeks with Israeli couscous, lemon, and red peppers. For the spice rub, you'll need some brown sugar, kosher salt, cumin, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, thyme, onion powder, and smoked paprika. You'll also need some green tea, either loose leaf tea or tea bags that you'll open, and two pieces of salmon, which is about eight ounces. For the couscous, we're using Israeli couscous, some fresh lemon, zest, and juice, fresh red bell peppers, salt and pepper, a little olive oil, and for the leeks, you need one leek, some chicken broth, a little butter, and olive oil. So we're going to start off by making the spice rub for our salmon. We're going to start off with some green tea. And I have green tea leaves that I bought, uh, loose leaf tea. But you can also use tea bags, just green tea bags, and open up the tea bags and uh, pour them into a bowl. You'll need four tea bags, or about a tablespoon of loose leaf tea. Because this is kind of a coarse looking uh, tea, we're going to crush it a little bit with a spoon. Then we're going to add the rest of the spices. So the other spices we have are brown sugar, garlic powder, cumin, kosher salt, smoked paprika. Also we have onion powder, uh, thyme leaves, and a little cayenne pepper for some heat. So just add all of those to the bowl with the Mix it together really well so you have a nice even mixture. Now I like to keep whatever's left over in uh, an old spice jar like this. So whenever you're not using, uh, just pour it into this jar and then you can keep that in your cupboard and sprinkle it on fish or even chicken uh, at another time. So today we're using salmon, and I have uh, two salmon fillets. It's about eight ounces total. Um, if you like them bigger, you can use a, a slightly bigger one. These are skinless, and um, you can have the uh, person at the fish counter take the skin off for you um, if it's not already done. So just sprinkle a little bit of the rub onto both pieces, and rub it inside uh, on, on all the sides. Really rub it in to get all that flavor in there. Turn it over and rub a little on the other side as well. We're going to let this uh, stand to sort of let all those flavors soak into the salmon uh, for about 30 minutes while we prepare the rest of the meal. So we're going to prepare our couscous and our braised leeks and let that sit just at room temperature for about 30 minutes. So for our salmon, we're going to create a really nice side dish of braised leeks. And a leek is basically uh, like a big onion, but it's a lot milder in flavor than a white onion and a little more interesting than a green onion. Um, but tr cleaning them can be a little bit tricky. So I'm going to show you how to do that so you make sure that they're nice and clean and uh, chopped. So what you need to do first of all is cut through the leek down the entire length of it, but don't cut through the root. And that's going to expose the inside of the leaves that we need to clean, but I still have the root attached so it's not going to fall apart. So run it under quite a bit of water. You want to make sure that you get the water in between each of the layers of leaves because sometimes they can be really sandy or dirty. Once the leek is nice and clean, you're going to come back, cut off the root, and cut off the really dark parts of the uh, top of the leaves because those are pretty tough and they don't taste as good. They're never going to cook down and, and be nice and soft. So get rid of the really dark color. Anything else is good to go. So make sure that you cut through all the way. And then we're just going to slice through 
uh, into about quarter inch rings or half moons. If you can feel that the last bit of leaves are a little bit tough still, don't use those. So our leek is nice and clean, chopped, and ready to go into the pan. So while the salmon's marinating, we're going to get started making the braised leeks and the couscous. The leeks are really, really simple to prepare. In a skillet or a frying pan or a cast iron pan, we're going to combine uh, our chicken broth and a little bit of butter and the leeks that we just chopped up. And these are just going to uh, come together and we're going to bring that to a boil. So go ahead and leave it on high heat, wait for that to come to a boil, and then we're going to reduce the heat and just let it simmer. And what's going to happen are the leeks are going to get nice and soft, they're going to start to absorb all the liquid and almost melt. So it's going to make a really nice uh, side dish that we're going to put the salmon right on top of it. So I'm going to leave that, let it go ahead and come to a boil, and we're going to get started with the couscous. So in a separate pan, we need just a little bit of olive oil. And keep that on about medium high. We're going to saute the red bell peppers first. So um, those are going to get nice and soft. And that will take about maybe two minutes or so. So the leeks have come to a boil. And I'm going to turn it down to about a medium low, just so it simmers. And that's going to take about 12 to 15 minutes. What you want to do is to evaporate a lot of the liquid and it's going to reduce down and get really soft. And um, you want it to reduce down to about a third of what's here. So that's going to take 12 to 15 minutes. Meanwhile, in our other pan, I have the sauteed uh, red bell peppers. I'm going to add Israeli couscous. This is a really fun uh, side dish. Israeli couscous is a lot different than maybe the traditional couscous you've seen that's very small. Um, this is uh, a lot bigger and it has a really interesting texture and um, it's actually a pasta. It's not a grain and it really gets a lot of flavor when you toast it first. So before we add any water, I'm going to put it into the pan uh, with the vegetables and the oil and just stir it around and let it get a little toasty. It's going to come, uh, it's going to get a little brown, just a really light golden color. Now that that's starting to get a little bit golden brown, uh, it's time to add the water. Stir that in, bring that back to a boil, and once it boils, we're going to cover it and let it simmer just until the couscous has absorbed all of that liquid. And that's going to take probably about 12 minutes. So these should be ready about the same time. We'll come back and check them in just a minute. So our leeks and the couscous have been simmering away for about 15 minutes. You can see the leeks have really softened and there's almost no liquid left. They're just nice and, and uh, soft and delicious really tender and a little bit sweet. The couscous has absorbed all of the liquid that's in here. Nice and plump. I'm just going to stir it a little bit to make sure we uh, break up the little kernels of couscous. To finish these off, um, we're going to add a little salt and pepper to both of them. And some fresh lemon. So in the couscous, we're going to use the zest of the lemon. Uh, this is a microplane zester. It's a really useful tool to get the zest off of the lemon. And just make sure that you get only the zest and not the white, um, bitter, pithy part. It's really easy to use. So sprinkle that into the couscous. And then we're going to add a little bit of fresh lemon juice to both. I like to use this juicer, it really makes it a lot easier. 
just a little bit, a teaspoon or two, into each one to give it a nice, bright lemon flavor. And then we want a little bit of fresh Italian parsley for the couscous. Add a little bit of pretty green color. Just chop that up kind of roughly. Toss that in. Turn the heat off of both of those. Stir the couscous. Keep the couscous covered until you're ready to serve it. And for the leeks, we're actually going to use the same pan to cook the salmon. So we need to get the leeks out of the pan. And just hold them in a bowl. They'll stay nice and warm because the salmon doesn't take very long to cook. So we just need to clean up the uh, pan, just a quick rinse, and then we're going to get it back on the stove and cook the salmon. Since I used this great uh, nonstick cast iron skillet, all you have to do is rinse it out. You don't really need to wash it. Nothing sticks. So I just want to get it back on the heat, really high heat, because I want to evaporate all that water that was left in there from when I rinsed the pan out. And then we're ready for the salmon. So here's the salmon that we rubbed earlier. Got um, had a chance for all those spices to really um, get into the, the salmon and add a lot of great flavor. So we need just a little bit of olive oil again. Just a couple teaspoons. Swirl it around, let the pan get really, really hot. We want to cook the salmon pretty quickly. Um, there's a little bit of sugar in the rub, remember, so it's going to create a little bit of a crust and um, get a nice caramelized color to it. So we need pretty high heat for that. About medium high would be great. We're going to cook the salmon. Uh, you can cook it to however uh, you like it done, but about three or four minutes on each side should be fine. So the salmon's cooked perfectly and we're ready to get it all plated up. So I have the leeks that we braised. That's going to go on our plate first. Make a nice little bed for the salmon to rest on. And the leeks are having, have this really nice sweetness to them. Just a little bit of texture left, but they're really soft. Put the salmon right on top. And then have our beautiful couscous with a little bit of lemon and fresh parsley. And that can just go around the edge of the plate. So we have a really bright, colorful dish that's pretty good for you too and uh, really easy to make in about 30 minutes. Thanks for watching Urban Kitchen. I hope you enjoy this recipe and try it at home. We'll see you again next time.